Howdy! Welcome to our Communication Tools in Canvas video series. In this video, I will show you how to use the Canvas calendar. To log into Canvas, navigate to lms.tamu.edu and then click Login on the top right hand corner. Once you are in Canvas, go ahead and access the calendar from the Canvas Global Navigation. As an overview of the calendar, the way you can add dates and events onto this is to use the due date function when creating assignments and assessments in your course. If you want to manually add assignments and events, you can click on the plus on the right hand side to create a new event. From here, you can add a title, a date, have a from time, and then the location, and then you can select the calendar you want this for. This will be applicable to the course and attached to that. For example, if I wanted to, I can create a manual event with a date attached to it, and then I can click on Submit. Now, that event will show up in the calendar. If I add due dates to my assignments, this is an example of what they may look like. It will give me the name of the assignment and the due date. If I am the teacher in the course, I can also click and drag to move this due date to a different day. Now, the due date will change in the course. I could also choose to change the view that my calendar is given. I can go to Week View, Month View, or Agenda View. Each of these views are personalized for the individual user. On the right hand side, I can also see all the different calendars I have access to that are color coded. These colors will be coded in my calendar, as you can see here. If I needed to, I can go ahead and navigate to other months by clicking on the month views. Other events that might appear in calendars include Zoom meetings. Whenever you create a Zoom meeting, it will automatically create an event that is accessible on the calendar. If in my course I would like to create an appointment group, so that means that I would like students to sign up for something like a slot of some sort, I can do that from the calendar as well. The way I do that is I will click on the plus sign under Create a New Event, and then I click on the Appointment Group tab. From here, I can give this an event name, such as office hours, location, I will say Zoom. For selecting calendars, I will select the calendar this is applicable to, or I could do it across different courses, then I can click Done. If I have groups and I want students to sign up in groups, I can have them sign up in groups. I can also choose the date and the reoccurrence. For example, if I want this to be every Friday, I can do that by selecting all the different Fridays. I can then put the times, so 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. I can do the same thing for other, every other day. Once I have added all the different days, I can also divide the slots. I can choose how long I want each slot to be, so for example, 15 minutes. Once I'm ready to create my slots, I can then click on Go. Now, each of my time slots have been created for my appointments. I can also choose if I want to limit time slots to a specific number of users. I can allow users and students to see who has signed up for time slots. And then I can also limit participants to attend appointments. For office hours, I recommend not to limit participants but to limit each time slot to one user. And then once you're done, you can click on Publish. What this will do is it will create time slots for your students to sign up for. For example, they will access the calendar from the Canvas Global Navigation and then find the slots they need to sign up for on the calendar. This concludes the training session on using the calendar as a communication tool in Canvas. To learn more, please visit lms.tamu.edu or email us at aihelp at tamu.edu. Thank you.